So I bought some new XLR connections from Amazon called World's Best Cables. These are balanced cables approximately three feet or one meter long and they are using the Amphenol connections going straight from my Oppo preamp down into my Macintosh. I'm currently running some Nordo Supers speaker cables going into the back of the Macintosh amp. It's time to upgrade. So my custom speaker cables have arrived and I'm just going to tell you off the bat this seems to be too good to be true. These are world's best cables found on Amazon and I had them custom made which took approximately two weeks but once they were ready they arrived in two days. Let's open up the package. First thing you'll notice is a card straight out of the box. While I'm a little skeptical about speaker cable burn-in the 175 hours of burn-in time required for optimal performance does not have to be a continuous process. Well, thank God, because <laughs> I'd have to be here for, what, how many days is that? I don't know. You do the math with a calculator. I don't think this is critical. But one thing I do like so far, and what got my attention, is that the customer service with these guys is really great. This is not a sponsored video, and I pay for these cables out of my own pocket. But what I really like is that even after the 175-hour burn-in time, once you pass the Amazon return window, and if Amazon refuses to accept the return, just send them a message and they'll take care of you. So enter the world's best speaker cables. I'm using Canary 4S11 by wire speaker cables. We'll take the plastic wrap off soon and you'll see that I'm using four bananas on one end and two bananas on the other. And so far I've got to say that I was little skeptical when I saw these on Amazon but when you start looking at the price per foot of this speaker cable and adding up the bananas and the time it takes to make it package it and ship it I couldn't probably make these for cheaper and if I could it might be just a little bit so why not give them a shot and uh, see how they sound and see what they look like etc they look pretty good so far um, they don't seem to be a knockoff uh, made in Japan and here's, we'll do a close-up here shortly of the bananas. But here's a little close-up of the marking on here. And let's take them out of the wrapper here and show you what's going on. I like that they provided a lot of uh, little Velcro, Velcro pieces here so you can uh, tidy up the wire. It even says World's Best Cable on there. It's kind of cool. But yeah, these are made in Japan and these were special order it only took two weeks and then it got here rather quickly so um, well the, the wire let's just let's say that the wire is made in in Japan um, this should be out of Delaware if I'm not mistaken you guys can do the research but I mean for the price for less than a hundred dollars these are 10 foot speaker cables if I failed to mention but for the price of the wire and all the bananas and everything I mean this is great and like I said I, I've purchased a one meter pair of XLR balance connections to go from my preamp to the Macintosh amp and those are running the same wire and they have Nutrix connections they have Mogami brand but but I'm running the Canary brand and the Amphenol connections for XLR let's get these out of the package just want to show you the the quality of them and so far so good I'm going to do this with one hand it's not going to be the best but let's see it's kind of neat, they're all bubble wrapped the ends with extra pieces of Velcro here. Mighty nice of them. Wow, extra protection. Very good. I like these. So here's the bananas. And let's see if I can zoom in here. You can see the, the wire. It is twisted, all heat shrunk and they even color coded the, the tips for you and it looks like there's some extra markings on the other end here high frequency negative so they've high frequency positive they've actually labeled so you can tell which ones are which so that's that's really nice touch for these speaker cables and this is what i call a reducer here just going from the thicker cable down to the exposed everything is heat shrunk nice solid feel now I looked at some speaker cables online audio gone and US audio mart which are some popular audiophile 
websites and you'd be surprised it's to me I won't get into it here and, and you can pick your wire your brand Canary Mogami MIT whatever um, Nordos I, I didn't those came with the speakers so I didn't go out and buy them those are $300 ribbon cables but you should see some of the prices on speaker cables $1,800 I saw some I think it was MIT's or 17 grand really I mean that's I won't get into it the, the snake oil that's out there in the audiophile world but hey you got those kind of deep pockets and it tickles your fancy knock yourself out but for a hundred bucks this is stout wire to handle the current nice connections nice uh, end pieces here the, the bananas you got different types of bananas out there I know it's probably not focusing the best right now but you know what kind of bananas these are Everything looks very, very nice, fit and finish wise. This is just a quick video. I'm not going to bore you to that. There's, there's no sense of me hooking these up and playing a video through YouTube. I don't know why people do that, but it's you can't really tell the difference. If you're not going to be able to tell the difference between the speaker cables I have, have on my speakers now and these through a song recorded on a. Uh, camcorder going through a compressed YouTube video. I'm sorry, but but yeah, well, let's open the other end here. I'll wrap this up. Beautiful. So far, so good. These are all very nice. Very nice bananas. Nice terminations on here. And you can see that they're they're split up, and you've got them. Not only are they marked because there's four on this end by wire, and then there's two on the opposite end. So not only are they labeled positive, negative, you know, with these red bands here, but they're also labeled here as well. That tells you, hey, this is a high frequency positive. This is a high frequency negative. And the remaining two, of course, are your low frequency positive, negative. So. These overall look really nice. Uh, they're good wire, you know, for my application here. If you're running, and these are 10 feet, so if you're running, you could probably run a kilowatt with these and not have any, any problems at all. But yeah, so far so good. I'm going to stretch them out on the floor here, and uh, we'll wrap this video up. World's best cables. Let's see how these things are built. Okay, so something of interest, these are 10 foot speaker cables, but they actually measure 10 foot 8 inches from tip to tip. Both of them are equal, and just want to point out something else here. By the way, you can custom order the length of the twisted separation, basically when it goes from the solid cable and then breaks down into two separate wires, you know, positive, positive, negative. Um, I don't think you can alter the twist. The twist is maybe the nature of this... Uh, particular speaker wire but you can customize the length of this portion here you can make it shorter maybe even longer so this one just to show you out of the box basically it's about 10 inches up here and then 12 inches right there where it starts to enter I forget what this this piece is called here so 10 inches let's check the other end And the other end, same, same. 10 inches and 12 where it begins to separate. So I'm not going to explain how bi-wire speaker cables work, but basically you can put this in into an, an amplifier if it has the outputs, or you can put this in into a speaker and vice versa. But on, on here, there's you can see the twist. There's two wires in here. Basically, you've got two wires that are positive that go in, in my case, and coming out, there's each individual wire is positive here going into the speaker. Now here you can see the heat shrink on the twist. This is the twist from the cable itself. And here you can see like they put some sort of, I don't know, not, not a heat shrink over it, but some sort of tube over the wire. So the wire itself has a lot of protection here, which is really nice. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality of these cables. The manufacturing process, all the little attention to detail, very nice terminations on here. 
Kinar, I think, is some of the better cable over Megami. I mean, you can put the comments below what you like, what you don't like, Coke, Pepsi, chocolate, vanilla, whatever. But I think this is the better wire here. 4S11 Canary is uh, the, the way to fly here. So overall, for like $86 or $89 or something, this is very well worth it. I could make these myself. I'd probably spend at least or just under what it costs to have them make them for me. So overall, very good uh, company. The communication with these people are excellent, and uh, they'll do custom work. And something of interest, when I... Let me see if it's on the, the package here. Yeah, when I ordered these custom ordered, they told me uh, it would take a couple weeks. And then once they were ready, they would send me a link. And I could go on Amazon and purchase them. But when they send you the link, the link in the description, it, it's made public on Amazon for everyone to purchase. However, they send you a, ver a very uh, unique email saying, disregard all that, this is the correct custom cable. For your order but they're gonna make it kind of a weird cable so that somebody that knows the, the cables will know that the parts are mismatched and it's incorrect so no one else will buy it but you know what it is and you'll buy it very very strange so on the description it said that like I don't know, remember now I think it was like a 90 foot XLR cable using Megami wire and uh, the connections were, you know, XLR and male, or two males, male to male. It's some weird single, like a 90-foot mono cable or something, something strange. Uh, but they, they told me very specifically, like, disregard that. It's, it's so that you can purchase it through Amazon, but no one else will. So I, that was kind of strange, but I was a little skeptical. I wanted to make sure that the correct part would show up. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm blown away by the... The quality of the cables, the communication with the company, and just the product that they offer, you know, the value here is substantial. So can't wait to uh, hook them up and hopefully get many, many years of service out of these. So there you go. World's Best Cables. Check them out. They're on Amazon. And, uh, yeah, this is a real deal, folks. No gimmick, no snake oil, no BS here. Good quality bang for the buck cables. All right. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.